Hi again everybody, as promised, I've done a little bit more work on the um, spindles. thought I'd show you a little sketch I did there for making it easier to use the DRO. I've got a DROPROS DRO on my lathe, I absolutely love it. It makes it very easy, especially when I'm using Fred's method of pulling the uh, spindle out a little bit and machining a little bit at a time. Also, I've filed several of the spindles square. Um, this is in lieu of putting the straight knurls on them. Uh, all I did was to drill a number 44 hole through the the, uh, the handle and then I filed it square. Of course it's very difficult to see the, the square but as you can see it fits on there nicely and um, I just did each one so that it so it fit just right. Um, you can kind of see the square square hole if you will. The other tip I had, I was just about to cut this one off um, so using the DRO, I've made sure everything's the proper length. And then the section here, the diameter of the finished cone, if you will, it needs to be less than an eighth of an inch so that it can go into the hole in the valve. So what I did was to machine this down. I used a cutoff tool and made myself a little space. And then I used the diamond tool holder again, and it's set at a 30-degree angle so I could just basically make plunge cuts and move it back, plunge, move it back, plunge, move it back. And I kept on going until I got a nice 30 degree cone here at the end of the spindle. And then I used some dial calipers and I measured the diameter here and it's less than an eighth of an inch. So now I can go ahead and cut this off with confidence knowing that um, I'll be at a proper dimension for the uh, less than an eighth of an inch. So I've got several of them done so far. I'm going to crank out a few more probably don't really need to post again until I test them and that will wrap up the series so stay tuned and uh, I'll uh, le please let me know if you have any questions hope this thread has been helpful thanks